welcome to Life Change Community. It's a gorgeous day, almost 80 in Southern California. It's a day God has made. And you know what? Even if it's cold and wet where you are, it's still a day that God has made. The Bible says a lot of the distribution of blessings falls on the good and the bad. Like rainfall, for instance. Some of God's blessings are apparent simply because the world was created as a place to sustain our life. Seasons, sunshine and rain, cold and warm, shelter and employment. But some blessings of God come to the righteous. Not those who live good in their own standard, but those who've given their heart to Christ. Those who live for God. Those who have a love for God and the things of God. There are blessings for those who walk with the Lord, look to live for the Lord, and there are consequences for those who don't. I want you to listen to this promise from God. Part of it's going to sound harsh at first, but I think the meaning will make sense. Listen to this. The Lord protects all those who love Him, but He destroys the wicked. Now think about that. The Lord protects those who love Him. Well, if you love God, does that mean no evil will befall you? No hard days will be on your calendar. No trouble will invade your life. It doesn't mean that at all. Our simple observations about life teach us better than that. What it means is God's hand keeps away those things that are not in our best interest. God holds back those things that would harm us more than help us, hinder us more than teach us, break us down rather than build us up. You see, some pain is necessary and vital for us to become the people we should. So God's promise is to love us and protect us from anything that would take us back and not make us the person God intends. Now for the wicked, the Bible says God will destroy them. Well, do you see wicked people falling down around you? Do you see wicked people being zapped by lightning from the sky? Not necessarily. But over time, like the wind comes and swirls the dust and then blows the dust away, the way of the wicked will vanish. The wheels of God's justice grind slowly, but they do grind surely. For the wicked who seem to be standing, and for the wicked who seem to prosper, a wind is building, and one day they'll be blown away. The promise of God for those who love Him is a promise of blessing and hope, and for those who don't, it's a dismal outcome indeed. You can choose for the blessing side of this promise to be yours. Declare your love to God. Give your heart to following Jesus Christ. Learn about Him. Follow the instruction of His Word. Give yourself in commitment to the things of God. And you'll experience the blessings from God. And those will change your life. Uh -huh.